Tinubu Bola Ahmed of the APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Thank you. What are the negativity that you think can, ha can happen at the election? Oh, uh, you mean the, the challenges that we might face? Yes. Okay, fine. Now, the only challenge that I feel that uh, uh, that obedient movement can face is INEC. How? Uh, INEC, if they refuse to be compromised, if they give a free and fair election, believe me, before 2 p.m., we are crowning Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria before 2 p.m. on that day. But the only challenge, that is why we are begging, calling on INEC to please give us a free and fair election. If INEC can give us a level playing ground, forget it. Trust me enough. By 2 p.m., we are crowning Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria. Trust me on this. What are the ways that you've set on ground to make sure that it, you, your, your plan is succeed? Okay. You know that in this election, uh, I call Peter the Nehemiah of Nigeria. I call Peter will be the David of Nigeria. The way he has transformed electioneering in Nigeria is to, in, in a way that nobody, no contestant, no aspirant in Nigeria election has ever uh, done. And the obedient movement is a movement of youths, uh, youths with positive impacts on their own lives, youths that are making sure that they can hold the Nigerian passport and proud of it. Youths that are so versatile, and this versatility has been engaged in the electoral processes. Now, you see now that the obedient movement are everywhere. We are unstoppable. This has never been in Nigeria election. And you know the funniest thing? We know they give shishi. Do you understand? And the more we know they give shishi, the more we have volunteers, support group everywhere. This is what we are seeing like this. All of them came on their own transport. We know they give shishi. And even on election day, we are not still giving you shishi, but we are telling you they need to vote Peter Obi. Do you understand? So this is a new narrative. And this new narrative is something that has never happened in Nigeria election. And these are the steps we've taken. And we've seen that it is working. The more they try to suppress us, we are, are like, uh, we are like, uh, how will I call it? We are like, uh, we are everywhere. We are like MTN. We are everywhere. In your family, you know, you, are, you have obedient in your family. Even in also rock. We have obedience in Asoro, so we are everywhere. And since we are everywhere, we will dominate on that election and make sure that we crown Peter Obi as the president of Nigeria. Come 20 of one thing in Nigeria is that some of these presses back, they, they they put it because they feel that it is not possible that people can go to that length to make sure that they bring it into fruition. Nigeria as it is right now, the way we've suffered, nowhere will not go to go to bring anybody down. Even if as it is right now, maybe Buari is contesting for uh, senator, and we see that Buari is the reason why Peter Obi policy cannot fly. We will go to Daura, we will converse against him and bring him down. We will call him from Daura, as simple as that. So no senator is senator enough that is beyond millions of Nigeria to bring down. So a new Nigeria we're talking about, it is possible in the sense that the common man have the order of the day. Do you understand? So no senator, and believe me, once Peter Obi becomes president, all this APC, and PD people, they will come out to the Labour Party. I'm telling you. But the law doesn't permit them. They will decamp. When you decamp, they go back to the courts and then remove you. What will happen is this. By decamping, what I mean is that there will be total support. There will be that path. You know, Peter will be policies are people friendly for policies. There are policies that are anti people. So if, for instance, you are APC and you come to, you are representing maybe Borono State, and maybe policies are, are to favor Borono people, you are there trying to tell me that you will not be able to follow because you want, Peter will be not uh, your party. What will happen? Is that we remove you or we will we'll make sure that we protest against you? And you, we, we bring you down. You cannot suppress the people right now. If this revolution that we are doing by the ballot, we, if we are able to scale through, every even Peter will be, if he's doing something that we don't like, we'll protest against him and we'll bring him down. As if Peter will be fails. If Peter will be, if Peter will be, if Peter will be himself, goes to uh, Aso Rock, and Peter will be misbehaving, we'll bring Peter will be down. How? Uh, how did you put him there? We, brought, we put him there now. Peter Obi is carrying my mandate. 
I am going to be a president through Peter Obi. So if Peter Obi is only what I like, and only what you people like, all of us gather like this. We'll bring Peter Obi down. As simple as that. He has not voted before. He didn't even know how he should talk it or what he should do. Imagine a man of 50 something years old in a country and for since he has been 18 years old, he has not even voted for once. For the very first time in Nigeria, we had hope. We don't even care what has been happening for the past eight years. Or what suffering we be going through that we cannot access, we cannot have access to our rights, our money, boy, food, people are dying of starvation, people are extremely frustrated, people are jackpying from this country, they are leaving this country on a daily basis. We don't care about that, but yet we've held on onto hope against 25th of February. And now today, being almost three days after election, we are yet to know the results of who the who the youth, who everybody has voted for. Why? Why is that so? Kine Gemma, why are you trying to kill the hope of the youth? Why? We don't have any other thing to hold on to in this country except hope. There is nothing to hold on to. Nothing is happening. Nothing is working. In. Nothing is working. And that is the only thing we've heard on. And you promised that the election will be transparent. After uploading results, I've many I'm, a few hours after uploading results, the result was uh, was deleted. Why is that transparency? At all. Even this time around, it's even worse than before. Than the analog uh, age is worse. Yes, we were hoping that these beavers will give us we we, we give us the, the accurate results and give us who we have voted for. We give us our our the people's choice. Yeah. We give us the president of the people's choice. Yeah. But that is not what we are seeing. It is so clear that nothing is happening. That we are not. That will not be what we we expect. It is not. I don't want to accuse anybody of rigging. But for my own opinion, that is what it seems to be happening right now. Why? Please, the it, it, it's presidency. Our president should call our next chairman. Our president, with all due respect, sir, I don't care how you emerge. I don't care what has been happening in this country for the past eight years. But please, your legacy should not be tarnished. Don't okay. allow your legacy to just be drained into the, the, the gutter like that. Call the INEC chairman into place. Call him. Let him do the needful. He should do the needful because there is rage. The youth are hungry. It's either the beaver is being used or the election be make an alternative for the beaver to be recognized. Because the main thing we had, the hope we had was that the beavers were accounted for our votes. And we promised the masses during our sensitization, go out and vote. I sacrificed the whole of one month educating B um, Nigerians on how to go ahead and vote. But only for today, I, have, I was confronted. We will never vote. This will not happen in this country again. We have endured. We are no violent youth. We are for peace. Let the beavers and let the result that was uploaded in INEC result, please let it be used. However, INEC, we reconnect to that result. We have the result. They should go ahead and upload that result. The beavers are not did not failed during orientation. They told us that beaver is hundred percent efficient. Now where is the efficiency? How do we get the accuracy where the beavers itself cannot be accounted for? Yes. Honestly, Nigerians, it is time for us to get our result, yes. Mr. President. Just as my my fellow woman have spoken, Mr. President. We have tolerated and we have come in peace. Let the beaver be put in use. Yep. All the result that has been announced, let it be correct. Imagine result will be called and it's not according to the accredited voters. Yeah. Election we read was tagged 20th February and we went to our various polling units on the 25th of February for cry out loud. We 25th February and we are getting result of 20th February. Mm. Please, Mr. President, the Nigerian youth that have voted you in one way or the other, do not disappoint us. Yeah. Do not bring us into areas that you see that we are violent. We are peace loving youth. Mm. We love you and we are working for the peace and the growth, development of this country. To this extent, bring out, bring back our mandate. Deliver it via that beaver's result. So our love will continue. We party agents having observed that the national chairman of INEC is determined to rig the election.
by making sure that results are not uploaded, by vehemently making a presentation that makes us look as if we are all here to rubber stamp the fraud that has been cooked between INEC and APC. We are saying that we are not here to rubber stamp the electoral fraud that have been prepared by INEC and APC. We are Nigerians and we all know that there is nowhere on the server that results have been uploaded. It's now saying we should wait for the process to be completed before it will review, knowing fully well that once a declaration is done, there can't be any review but courts. So we are completely dissociating ourselves and that's why we stage a workout. All the political parties here stage a workout to express the unfortunate uh, politicization and commercialization of our electoral process. How many of the parties are staging a workout? We are about nine, ten of us here. Understand? And we are saying that INEC is compromised. APC have influenced INEC. And we can see results are being changed. We have records of where elections did not take place and results have been prepared. Yeah. We have we have records of where PV and, uh, the, the, the beavers were not used and results have been pronounced. What is difficult in the INEC chairman showing the uploaded results so that we can compare and interrogate that with the presentation that is made by the uh, state uh, returning officers. But they cannot upload results. They cannot show us uploaded results because they know that what they are going to upload will be at variance with what they are presenting to Nigerians. So the, the electoral process have been rigged. INEC have rigged the 2023 elections and we are completely dissociating ourselves from it and we know what to do next. So 